माय नेम इज डॉक्टर पी सी पटेल प्रोफेसर एंड चीफ सॉइल हेल्थ स्पेशलिस्ट कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड पार यूनिवर्सिटी एंड माटी माटी एग्रो मार्ट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आनंद गुजरात सो द टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ माय यूट्यूब इज सलाइन सॉइल्स एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट तो सॉल्ट एपेक्लेट सॉइल्स तो यू कैन सी दी टेबल वन that the maximum salt affected soils is in gujarat 1.214 lakh hectare followed by uttar pradesh so maximum sorry maximum is uh, uh uttar pradesh 1.295 lakh hectare Followed by Gujarat 1.214, so it is uh, as per the CSRI Karnal, Yagi, and K. Rajasthan has also 1.122 lakh hectare. There is another state have the lower total salt affected soil. So saline soils. Saline soils defined as soil having a conductivity of the saturated extract greater than four decimal per meter and external sodium percentage less than fifteen. Saline soil defined as soil having a conductivity of the saturated extract greater than four decimal per meter and an external sodium percentage less than fifteen. The pH is usually less than eight point five. Formally, these soils they are called white alkali soils because Of surface crust of white soil, so you can see here it is also known as white alkali soil. So you can find the white salt of surface crust find on surface crust. So it is soil surface. <coughs> Then soil is related to indicator in vegetation, plant withering, crop loss, reduction of biodiversity. Appearance of salt tolerant plants in the area and their further dominance. So you can see white patches, and the plant growth is very poor. So causes of salinity in soil. Primary source of salt in soil from rock weathering. During weathering process, soluble salts are formed. Sol solid movement with water is the determining factor in soil salinization process. Fluctuating depth. of ground water in arid region less rainfall available to lead the salts and high rate of evaporation causes concentration of salt in soil at various layers so you can see that in rajasthan it is rainfall uh, less rain less uh, rainfall because it is located in the arid region so the salts are not lead down so you can and uh, i due to more heat higher rate of evaporation so there will be salt on the soil surface and you will find the saline alkaline soil in rajasthan in gujarat it is why it is more because in gujarat there is a coastal area so coastal area due to inundation of sea water or intrusion of sea water irrigation of water Containing high concentration of soluble salts, sodium salt leads to soil salinity. So sodium salt is harmful for the agricultural crops. Due to drainage restriction, reduces permeability of soil. Formation: the process by which the saline soil form is called salinization. Saline soil occur mostly in arid and or semi-arid region. In arid region, saline soil occur. not only because there is less rainfall available to leach and transport the salt but also because of high evaporation rate due to high heat in particular the summer and monsoon season which tend further to concentrate the salt in soil and in surface water agriculture production water saturation in plant depend on level of salt in ground water and the plant itself Water is absorbed in the process of osmosis and flows from less salt concentrated area to more concentrated ones. When the salt concentrated is too high, it means that the soil osmotic potential is essentially negative. 
plants suffer from osmotic stress when they fail to take up water, even when it is present in the soil. So in saline saline soil, due to osmotic stress, the plant will not take the water although it is present in the soil. So salinization tempers with nitrogen uptake too, which slow plant development and cause weed yield loss. So nitrogen also cannot be taken up by the plants and there is slow growth of the plant and we are getting low crop production. So the amount of crop yield reduction depends on such factor as crop growth, the soil content of the soil and climatic condition etc. Another soil salinity effect on agriculture is ionic stress due to harmful ion in soil, in soil salt that is chloride or sodium, sodium chloride. So apart from their toxic impact as such, these positively charged ions impair the equation of the other positively charged ion vital for crop growth, particularly potassium and calcium. The result is the same as the osmotic stress due to salinization, vegetation die. So as we have discussed that due to osmotic stress, the plant will not take up the water, although it is present in the soil. Then management of saline soil. The reclamation of saline soil involves basically the removal of salt from the saline through the process of leaching with water and drainage. So in saline soil, for the improvement of the soil or reclamation of the soil, there is a leaching with water and drainage. Provision of lateral and main drainage channel of 60 cm deep and 40 cm wide and leaching of soil could reclaim the soil. Subsurface drainage is an effective tool for lowering the water table, removal of excess salt and prevention of secondary salinization of iron like chloride, sulfate, etc. So you, you can see here when there is a drain condition, then the plant growth and plant root is better. But when there is undrained condition, then you can see the plant growth is poor and root bias biomass is also low. So drain condition is required to let down the soil. Then effective practice is for reducing saline problem. So you know that uh, perennial forage crops, soil resistance, so you can grow the perennial forages, 20 to 60 meter band of deep rooted forages, so you have to take the deep rooted forage crops like lucerne, then saline tolerant forage crops, so barbuda grass, kernel grass you can grow. Then grow salt tolerant crops like lucerne, I told that it is also known as alfalfa and you know that in a Kutch area, the farmers are growing lucerne because it is salt resistant crops, it has deep rooted system. Similarly true for cotton, in a Saurashtra area, the farmers are growing the cotton, although they have saline and alkaline soils because they have deep rooted system and the cotton is a soil resistant crop. Similarly, barley crop is also soil tolerance. Then uh, Gujarat rice 19 also well based in uh, saline soil. You know that uh, when you, the rice crop is grown in standing water, it requires the water. So whatever the salt present in the soil that has been diluted because we are applying the water. So rice crop grows successively in saline soil. So in Tarapur area of the Gujarat and some parts of the Bhal area, they grow the rice crop. Then managing saline soils by planting method. So good uniformity, salt accumulate in the center of the bed and away from plant. So salt is accumulated here, so we have to grow the plant successfully. So poor uniformity salt accumulate over age of bed near one row. So here you can see here salt is there, but near you can find the less also better growth. 
so solid management in double row bed system then managing saline soil by planting method so here salt management in single row bed system so here you can see the growth so uniform healthy plant with alternate furrow irrigation salt accumulate in the dry furrows so salt accumulate in the dry furrow so here we should have to use alternate for irrigation and farmers of the subarctic area those who have the saline soil they use the alternate for irrigation system to the cotton crop and other crops for production for the higher crop production irregular growth due to variable accumulation of salts plant may occur or come this situation a root can grow out of the saline area so here you can see more salt but here you can find it less so also better growth of the plant then soil salinization and how to prevent and manage its adverse effect so you can grow here it is a mustard crop so it is soil resistant crop so you can grow then how to reduce soil salinity there are several techniques to tackle salinization and improve agriculture productivity increase drainage for better flushing to remove salt from the ground surface so in bal area the farmers are apply this condition then plant salt tolerant crop to manage economic risk and to ensure land cover so in in bal area the farmers are growing the uh, wheat crop then sorghum crop then safflower crop gram crop etc remove salt crystal from the surface mechanically so we can remove the salt to the mechanically like tractor and other individual implement restore the balance by chemical amendment so we should have to add gypsum or sulfuric acid but gypsum is advantageous sulfuric acid is hazardous for the human health also and it is very difficult to handle because it is sulfuric acid pre treatment seeds with sodium chloride to promote seed germination in saline soil we should have to give the seed treatment with the sodium chloride so there will be better germination reduce evaporation with mulch or crop residue so when we should use the mulch then it reduce the evaporation or you can use the crop residue of the previous crop like rice so rice crop residue you can use in wheat farming so it reduce the evaporation and you will find a better growth of the crops in saline soil grow crop that can absorb moisture properly to avoid prolonged wetness of land apply fertilizer rationally as yes, an overuse of certain chemical promote salinization so we should have to use the rational fertilizer and we should have to apply as per the soil test value then coastal saline soil so in coastal saline in gujarat we have the more coastal saline soil so in this soil we have to grow the different crops gram then uh, tomato then carrot and so on then we can grow the salt tolerant plant halophytes you can find in the even it is grown near the sea so then salt tolerant plant it is halophytes it is salt loving plant then desert plant fed with salt water so irrigation management proportional mixing of good quality if available water with saline water and then using for irrigation reduce the effect of salinity so if the source of the good quality water is available then it is mixed with saline water then it will reduce the salinity alternate for irrigation favor growth of plant and flooding so i told that in a forest area of the gujarat the farmers are using the alternate for irrigation system for the cotton crop then drip is best irrigation system so drip sprinkler and feature irrigation have been found to be more efficient than conventional flood irrigation method since relatively lesser amount of water is used under this improved method 
so low cost drip in bg cotton so in bg cotton the farmers of the saurashtra area they install the drip irrigation and they obtain the cotton crop production 25 to 30 moons in 0.16 hectare land so it is a good method and you can know that uh, not only save the water 25 to 30 percent but in increase the crop productivity 25 to 30 percent as compared to the conventional method that is third irrigation method then fertilizer management additional of extra dose of nitrogen to the tune of 20 to 25 percent as recommended level will compensate the low ability of nitrogen in this way so you know that due to constraint of the saline soil higher ph 8.5 this would have to apply more nitrogen fertilizer 20 to 25% because it is less available so we have to add 20 to 25% extra nitrogen as per the recommendation level of the particular crop then addition of organic manure like farm yard manure compost etc help in reducing the ill effect of salinity due to release of organic acid produced during decomposition So when we are at the manures like farm yard manure and compost and poultry manure and so on, so it releases organic acid which helps in reducing the soil pH, and the nutrients are more available to the plant. Then green manuring, so sonam, dancha, palingi, and or green leaf manuring also counteracts the effect on salinity. So. in saline soil or alkaline soil we can grow the dancha crop or sonam but dancha is more so the system crops so we have to make green manuring for the improvement of the saline alkaline soil so thank you very much if you have like my video then please subscribe thank you very much